Hey everybody, Danny Draven here, and I am at Tom Devlin's Makeup Effects Shop. It's been about a month since we wrapped Ouija's Halloween Night. Uh, that is the new official title of the movie. It is now called Ouija's Halloween Night. And I am here with the awesome Tom Devlin. And Tom and I, all night tonight, we've been shooting inserts. Tonight it was the board. So this is the Ouija board. Uh, that has been featured in the movie and for those of you that had followed the Deadly 10 live stream you saw me uh, shoot the Ouija board on set and what we did tonight was I am um, I did a lot of very tight shots of the board a lot of like animated um, pieces the board pops up and the, the pieces turn around and they do all kinds of like little magical things so that was what Tom and I just Tom and I shot tonight together uh, all night um, and I have a few more pickup days that I want to do with Tom and his team. Uh, mainly it's uh, a lot of very close shots of the, the, uh, the goblin and the gravestone and weed wolf and all that stuff. Um, so we have several more pickup days to do. Ouija's is officially cut together. Uh, the entire movie from beginning to end, um, I finished a cut on it a few days ago. Um, about an, it's about an 80 minute movie um, and I'm currently working on my second cut so after you do the first cut and everything's together I realize what I still need to go out and shoot and some of that was the board which we shot tonight and there's still a few more things I need to shoot with Tom and then what I do is I go back into it and I do a second cut so basically I go back in I fine-tune things I chop things out I cut a lot I actually cut a lot of stuff out um, in that particular pass. So I've been uh, currently working on that. Now what's gonna happen is I'm just gonna shoot the rest of the stuff I need. I'm gonna go do a pickup day on the strip and I'm gonna shoot a lot of um, footage down on the strip, cut all that in. And then once all that's in there, I'll, uh, I'll have a uh, more of a completed movie and then uh, it'll, it'll continue the post-production phase from that point forward. And I'll, maybe I'll do another vidcast when it gets to the, uh, the sound and the scoring and the color correction and all the other things that still need to happen for this movie to actually be finished and released. Uh, right now the movie is scheduled to come out before Halloween, uh, probably around October 21st. And we're all very, very excited. I am absolutely floored about this movie. It's my favorite movie. It's so cool. The Ouija's are awesome. Tom and his team who did all these amazing Ouija's Gravestone and Goblin and, 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 and Weed Wolf and all these guys who you saw a shoot on the set. Amazing. I don't know what else to say. It's just a really fun new movie that you haven't seen from Full Moon. Movie's cut and we're just doing some final uh, detail work. The insert shots is some of my favorite times because we get to spend more time making the effects look good because when you're on set you have a whole cast standing around, a crew, there's so much to do in so little time that my stuff gets cut very very short and then we always say oh we'll pick it up, oh we'll pick it up yeah. and a lot of times we don't pick something. it up That's but true. then this That's time true. because uh, we live relatively close to each other and we can pick it up until it looks perfect yeah. and that's what's gonna make this come together. Um, the Ouija's themselves got really beat up during the shoot so I've been rebuilding them and repairing them and it's kinda like uh, well, my old friends. You and, know? And Tom told me that we actually sort of destroyed Gravestone a little yeah, bit. Right? The, we, we took him underwater in a pool and I shot a whole bunch of stuff of him killing yeah. a guy in a pool but I had to physically take Gravestone in the water and Tom said I mean, he got a little He has a water. rubber skin but, but they're foam rubber on the inside so uh, getting the moisture out of them was really tough and, yeah. and it just destroyed the paint and yeah. you know yeah. it's crazy how much abuse these things have taken so yeah. even the cake I mean like when we did the cake scene mm -hmm. which we're gonna do pickup shots of I was still picking orange cake juice out of the back of their eye sockets like I mean oh, it, there's <laughs> right, right, right. It, it's nuts so right. to get to repair them and bring them back to life again it's like seeing my old friends and I can't wait to get all these little minuscule things done right. that way the movie pops like it should and and that's how that's how it should be done yeah. so I'm yeah. excited yeah a lot of the stuff that, that like Tom's talking about um, gets overlooked sometimes because of this because of schedules and money and time whatever but on on this movie we're really paying a, a lot of detail uh, to to getting these creatures looking as best they can on camera and getting the shots that we need at this point and like tonight for instance it's just me and Tom 
I brought my camera, my lights, I shot it myself. Tom was operating the board for me. It's just me and him in his studio, but we're, you know, we're sitting in here for, I don't know what, five hours, five hours just me and Tom, just shooting the board inserts alone <laughs> and, and eating pizza and just, you know, having conversation and talking about what 80s movies we love and influences and so forth. But see, that's the kind of filmmaking that what I love, is. that yeah. Tom loves, that a lot of the people I, I work with love and this is probably the side that you don't see as much when we're on set and there's a million people and and there's money and time and things that that are happening on set so we have to do things very quickly and cut corners and so on and so forth but it's these insert days where it's very relaxed and we can eat pizza and we can just take our make time shooting make things art. and make and make art and that's what we love and that's why I like working with Tom and his team and um and, and and I think you'll see it in the in the end product. You can see Motor Breath hanging out back there with Gravestone with yeah. his head's his head we had to take off uh, for some for <laughs> some insert shots. He's goopy. We had um, we had his head uh, we had gooped him up tonight and had his head coming up through the board with some hands and and a little eyeball, we were doing some eyeball operations. And the, as also the editor of the film, I know exactly these, these little moments that I need to make the, the scene even better, and that's a, a, a lot of stuff that we got tonight. Now, we still have a few more days to shoot, probably two, roughly two more days with Tom and his team shooting some more motor breath material, and some more gravestone material, and then I'm gonna go out in Las Vegas on the strip and I'm going to shoot a lot of there's scenes in the movie where Wee Wolf is riding his bike around on the strip in front of all kinds of major sites and stuff so all of that stuff's going to get shot and that's just going to kind of be me and maybe a few other people going out and shooting it we don't have the uh, the crew and the help and all that stuff a lot of this stuff is just 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 me and a few people or me and Tom or whatever when that happens so really looking forward to that and then we're just gonna we're gonna get this movie done and finished and out so you guys can all can see it. Uh, make sure you check out deadly10.com. The next movie that they are shooting is called Blade. Blade the Iron Cross. The Iron Cross, and it's directed by uh, my friend Tom's friend, Mr. John Lachago, who's awesome. So you're really gonna want to tune in for uh, for Blade the Iron Cross, which is the next one up, which I believe they're shooting sometime in August. August twentieth. We start August twentieth. August twentieth, and Tom's in, doing in uh, downtown LA. Doing the. the yeah, I'll show you. Say, Blade, <laughs> so you, you Blade will little... not be red, I promise. He has Blade, not yeah. turned into Red Skull. So that's the next one up. So tune in to Deadly10.com. And until next time, uh, we'll see you later. So.